Hi Capricorn! Welcome to Pandora Astrology's monthly horoscope for June of 2020. I'm Jamie Kale Miller and with me is Julia Mijas and we've got stuff for you about a couple of eclipses coming up this month. Also a COVID degree we've discovered that's going to get triggered further this year and uh, we're going to start with the usual Mercury, Venus and Mars activity. Take it away Julia. All right. Well, hey, Capricorn. Uh, Mercury starts the month in the sign of Cancer, which relates to your seventh house of partnership. Uh, now, Mercury is the planet of communication. So on June 17th, Mercury is going retrograde in this house. And whenever a planet goes retrograde, it's a time to review uh, any of the symbolism of where that planet happens to be. So you could be reviewing your communications that you have with your partner. However, the seventh house has some other extended meanings. It can also be all the consultants in your life. So if you see a counselor, if you're consulting with a lawyer, this could be a time where you really have to sort of review any matters pertaining to them. Mm -hmm. Then Venus starts the month in retrograde in Gemini, which is your sixth house. Now the sixth house is the house of habits. And Venus is a planet that really likes to indulge herself. So uh, when Venus goes, is, is retrograde for most of the month, she actually goes direct on the 25th. Mm -hmm. But before then, while she's retrograde, you could be really indulging yourself in your house habits a lot. So that might mean, you know, eating a few extra cookies, you know, not necessarily um, pushing yourself towards a, a, a health fitness regimen. Um, so a little extra indulging in your habits. But then when she goes direct on the 25th, that should bring some relief to that. Um, and Juno, which is a relationship asteroid, has is already direct by this time too. So that means that this overarching relationship retrospection period is going to be easing up now, which would be great. And then Mars starts the month in Pisces, which is your third house of communication. And when Mars makes a transit through the third house, that means you really got to be careful with your words because they mm -hmm. could be a lot sharper than usual. And you could be getting into more arguments than you usually do as well. Then on June 27th, Mars enters Aries, which is your fourth house of family and home. So you, you could be just expending a lot of energy uh, on the home front, maybe doing lots of projects. Mm, that could also spell conflict at home too, though. Oh, for sure. That Mars, he's such a rascal, right? <clears throat> so we have a couple of eclipses this month, and starting with a lunar eclipse on June 5th which falls in your 12th house and 6th house and also your 3rd house as Mars is involved. So a lunar eclipse is a time when we are forced to look at our shadow and when the moon in a lunar eclipse falls in the 12th house, those shadowy unconscious emotions can surge up from some very unexpected places. So, um, you know, keep your cool during this eclipse uh, right around the 5th and the very first part of the month. And Mars's presence in the third house suggests that uh, it, it can come out very much in the form of sharp words. So, um, so yeah, watch out for that. Um, and then we have later in the month another eclipse. They do often come in pairs like that. And here it is in your seventh house in the sign of Cancer. Now this is a solar eclipse, which is different from a lunar eclipse. A lunar eclipse is more emotional, more internal. Uh, I think that Mars is going to cause those emotions to spill quite a bit during the lunar eclipse, but the solar eclipse is usually more behavioral. It's more in terms of what other people see, and all eclipses force us to look at our shadow. So beware of unconscious behavior, particularly in your relationship realm. This is the seventh house, um, and that is driven by emotions. It is an eclipse in Cancer. So... Um, you know, during both of these eclipses, I would say that domestic violence is a real risk. And so, um, you know, if you have to placate your partner and soothe your partner uh, so that your partner doesn't explode, then do that. If you have to soothe yourself so you don't explode, then do that. It's so important. These are kind of some heavy eclipses. Now, there's another thing that I really wanted to tell you about, which is that Julie and I have discovered a coronavirus degree. We made a video about this called The Astrology of the Coronavirus Pandemic. You can find it in our June 2020 news playlist. You can also find it in our 2020 news playlist on our YouTube channel, Pandora Astrology. And uh, where this falls on you is it's possibly going to feel really personal when this hot degree, which is 22 degrees of Capricorn, gets triggered throughout the year by Jupiter and Mars. And in that video that we made about it, we talk about how 
There may be flare-ups on very specific dates that we give you, and also the potential for angry mobs on very specific dates that we give you. And because this degree falls in your first house, you might feel like it, uh, it hits you in your identity or in your professional reputation, um, in your very sense of self, and or very personally, very physically in your health. So um, watch that video, check those uh, dates, and, and really shore up your health and, and pay good attention to um, your reputation during those dates. So that's what we have for you today, Capricorn. And because some of the themes today are in the career realm and some of the themes today in this horoscope are in the relationship realm, really, you probably would want, uh, if you wanted to follow up on you know, these, these themes, you would probably want a natal and transit reading, which can craw, uh, cover a broad variety of topics. I hope you enjoyed this horoscope we made for you, Capricorn, and we'll see you next month and all around the cosmos. Bye. Bye-bye.